Okay, so first of all, go to insert and insert symbols. Then change the font from normal text to this symbol font. Then scroll down until you find these symbols of the sides of a dice and then double click on each of the symbols to insert them into the cell and close and now I have these six symbols here and I'm going to select all but the first one and then control X to cut enter to get into the next cell and control V to paste then I'm going to select all but the first one again and control X to cut enter to get into a new cell and control V to paste select all but the first cell control X enter control V and I'm going to do that two more times then I have all of these sides in their own cells Type in one here and then hold down control and click and drag until I get to the number six. Then here I'm going to use the rand between formula to get random numbers between one and six as there are six sides of a dice and enter. And then I want to have two dice so I'm going to click and drag to make another copy. Then I will use a VLOOKUP formula. I will look up this value in this table here and I will press F4 to make that an absolute reference. The column index number is going to be column number 2 here and the range lookup will be FALSE for an exact match and close brackets and ENTER. And now the VLOOKUP formula is looking up the number 4 here in this table and it's finding me the side of the dice with 4 dots on it. And I will click and drag this across to get the second dice as well. Then I will take these two cells here and put the dice in the centre of the cell and then increase the font size. Then I will adjust the size of the cells so they are only slightly bigger than the dice. Then select both of these cells here and change the fill to a white fill to get rid of the border around the outside. Then select this cell here and control C to copy and I will paste it into a new sheet but I will paste it as a linked picture. So this is now a picture and you'll see in the formula bar the cell reference back to the other sheet. And as this is a picture I can resize it and I will also crop out some more of the edge around the dice and I can also rotate it. Then I will press Ctrl D to duplicate this shape and in the cell reference I will change column D to column E because I know that's where the other VLOOKUP formula is. And I will rotate this one round as well. And then go to view and remove the grid lines. Now in this sheet here you'll see when I press F nine on the keyboard the rand between formula recalculates so we get a new number and so the V lookup formula finds a different value in this table and the side of the dice changes and then because we have linked pictures in this sheet here the pictures also change so each time I press F9 I get a different result and so it's like I am rolling the dice. Okay so in this video I have shown you how to make it look like you are rolling dice in Excel and that is everything.